Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching this video called the one minute mullet challenge, hot TikTok 2021. So the mullet, AKA the shag haircut, um, has been definitely trending on TikTok and just on social media in general for the past, I would say for all of 2021 actually. And first of all, before we go any further, rewind to my 2021 hairstyle predictions video when I said third hair trend is the mullet. The more modern title for it is like the modern shag. It's definitely been big this year or in 2020 and I can definitely see it still being a thing this year in 2021. So I just want to say I called it. <laughs> I think a lot of us were seeing um, this kind of like shag hairstyle and just like very layered haircuts popping up more and more in 2020 and so I think a lot of us were expecting to see the mullet or just more shag haircuts pop up in 2021. So as expected, I present you the mullet challenge, specifically the one minute mullet, which is what we're gonna be watching today. Before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you keep up on future videos. And if you're enjoying this video at any point, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment your thoughts on the video down below. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so it didn't look bad. Let's go back a little bit. <sighs> okay, it, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, it's so hard to see like what they're really doing in just one minute, but I feel like the cutting method wasn't the best choice. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look horrible. And like she said, it's not a mullet. It's more of just like, a layered haircut really like a just extremely layered haircut with bangs <sighs> uh, I feel like I'm not gonna like this video now <laughs> we're off to an interesting start okay continue I just want to say it's interesting because I feel like so far both of these girls already have like a very shaggy looking haircut um, like this one, her hair's longer, but it's still kind of the same idea. Like it's very layered, um, kind of like thinner on the ends, lots of layers and thicker up top. So it's kind of interesting that they're like starting already from a shag haircut and just going like to a shorter shag. But we'll see what she ends up doing. This is what my hair looks like. Um, not too many layers, there's some. So I'm only doing half of my head so that there's longer parts to make it more um, mullety. So she's only doing half her head, so is she only cutting the top or the bottom? Oh boy. Nervous. I snipped off a, a good amount. And I was like, mm, I want more. So I did it again, but at the crown area of my head. And I wanted shorter layer, so I did it again. Definitely not a mullet again, but whew, I don't know. I just like, I feel almost bad for these poor girls. Uh, I mean, it's not bad again. The thing with the shag haircuts is that they're very forgiving because the whole point is that they look very shaggy and effortless and just like short kind of like sporadic layers, but there still is a right way and a wrong way to do it. And I just, there's just like no technique here. They're just kind of like sectioning and cutting. So like, even though it kind of works, it's still like, ugh, it's still not the best. But I mean, it's not, 
it's not the worst. Like she basically just has a extremely layered long haircut. I don't like these videos. I don't like these videos. Let's just, let's just move on. Okay, so it looked a lot better after she washed her hair and like the curls came out, but still it's just like, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I just like personally really wish I could like go back in and like do some blending and like kind of like fix up the choppiness. Since her hair is curly, it's a lot more forgiving and you can get away a little bit more with a cut like this, but still there's just probably so many like steps and just like harsh lines. <laughs> that need to be just like blended out and just like cut properly. So even though it doesn't look bad, it's not terrible, but you could see when it was straighter, um, like when she was cutting it, it was just very like choppy and kind of like uneven. But just do the next one. <laughs> Yeah, like it's just a layered haircut. I don't know. It's not, it's definitely not a mullet, but this one is actually not bad. I feel like she didn't like overdo it. So you kind of get away with it then. She still has like a good blend cause she didn't really cut her bangs, I don't think. So her bangs still like blend nicely with the sides. So that makes a big difference. And then really she just has like layers near the bottom. This is actually not, not bad. This is probably the best one so far, but it's not a mullet. It's just a layered haircut. Okay. We got some blending in here, a little bit of blending. By the way, they're all using kitchen scissors, which is definitely not recommended. Please do not do this at home. But at least she went in and did a little bit of blending. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, she has some interesting gapping happening at the front. I don't know if she, did she have shorter bangs to begin with? Or why did her bangs turn out like that? I mean, she said she loves it, so I'm not gonna pick on her. Okay. This is not, that's not bad. It's not bad. I didn't see what she started with really, so I'm gonna watch it again. Again, I feel like a lot of these girls are starting with an already shag haircut. You can't really see the ends of her hair from here, but um, it looks pretty shaggy to me, like pretty layered. She has bangs already. Yeah, actually, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I feel like it's similar to what she had before, just like a little bit shorter and like a little bit more layered. So not bad. Again, she didn't take very much off. Like it looked like to me maybe like an inch or two, but not a whole lot, which again makes a difference in how it comes out. Trying the one minute mullet. Results at the end. So she's starting with long hair. Trust the process. It was so choppy. <sighs> Cut 
slide cut. Okay, I'm glad she's at least doing some blending. She's slide cutting, it's good. Okay, see? Look at that, she said trust the process and it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Oh, and she's doing it anymore. Dry, dry. Y'all get it, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Considering how long her hair was when she started, I think she actually did a really good job. Even though there was no like sectioning to like make sure you're like cutting and blending the proper sections, she was just like freehanding everything, but it did turn out pretty good. Um, and I'm glad she at least like did some dry cutting. She cut the base of it um, when it was dry and then she went back in when it was wet and did it, did some like slide cutting. And then after it looked like she did even more like blending and slide cutting. So she did a lot of like blending and fixing, which I think is so important, especially with a haircut like this, where you have like a lot of different lengths and layers happening. There just needs to be blending happening. Even if the point is for it to be like shaggy and kind of like effortless looking, you know, but she did a good job. Going for it. <sighs> the scissors are definitely not sharp. I feel like this is the most mullety one. It looks kind of cute. It's just a short layered haircut. Again, these are just like layered haircuts, but hers is actually very shaggy and close to being a mullet, I would say. Like the closest out of all of these. Okay, that's it. Okay, my battery's about to die, but um, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and reacting to those um, one minute mullet challenge videos. <sighs> I was very stressed out throughout most of that, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you can keep up on future videos. And also hit the notification bell so you can stay notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, um, Pinterest, all of that. It's all linked in the description down below. And please, if you're gonna try to cut your own mullet at home, do not use kitchen scissors. And please do some blending. Watch a tutorial and do some blending. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.